So, now I'm out again. This time I'm starting from Strängnäs. Uh, it's a small town uh, about uh, 60 kilometers west of Stockholm at the shore of Lake Mälaren. This town is uh, kind of special this year because it's 500 years since uh, Justa Vasa was chosen to be the first king of the independent nation of Sweden. That happened in the main church here in the town behind me or in front of me. So we're just gonna sail by there first. That's uh, my pl first planned stop for, for this tour. And after that, it's quite late. It's 20 minutes to nine. So it might be some night sailing before I can find somewhere where I can uh, put up the boat tent. There you have the church. The first church was built around 1100 and uh, it has been improved throughout the centuries. The final touch was uh, done around 1770, I think. Now you can see the car. And the tower. At the time of Gustav Vasa's inauguration, Strängnäs was the central city. It is conveniently located in the center of Lake Mälaren. From here all important cities in central Sweden are within reach by boat. I will only try to reach a calm night camp, so let's leave the historical church behind and head east. It's starting to get uh, quite dark now. It's uh, quarter to ten in the evening. The sun is just setting behind the city. It's about 18 degrees Celsius in the air and I would guess about the same in the water. I put up a lantern in the mizzen mast. Now before it gets too dark to see, and my plan is to go just around the corner here to some of the more uninhibited islands there and tomorrow I will continue eastwards as the wind will be uh, blowing from the west it's forecasted to be between uh, 10 and uh, 25 knots so the gust will be too much to continue with the full main we will see tomorrow what I choose for a sail setup but I'm Thinking about maybe the missing on the foresail or a uh, reduced main, perhaps. I put up the missing as well. Combination when, uh, when you want to go downwind in this kind of faint wind that we have now. It's between 4 and 10 knots. 
Oh, you can see the sun setting there behind the city. It was kind of a short start on this trip, but uh, I hope you liked it. If you want to join me on the next day, why not subscribe? That island in front there is where I'm planning on staying for the night. It's called Skinbiten. The skin piece.